All right. Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow K11s. It is still your favorite tutor, Mr. Sajwai. Welcome back to Back to Basics. Now, uh, please ensure that you've watched some of the previous videos here where I was explaining in brief, rather in detail, of what is our sign rule, our cosine rule, and also our area rule, right? So, but basically in this particular video, we are going to be looking at... Uh, we are going to be looking at your different exam type questions that you can get pertaining this particular topic, right? Now, let's start here. You are saying, they are saying in the diagram, you're having A, C, E, and B, which are the vertices of your quadrilateral, right? Now, here, they are saying you're having A, B, C, which is 31 degrees, B, A, C, which is 106, B, C, E, which is 46, you are having A, C, which is 4.6 centimeter, you're having C, E, which is 10, uh, and also B, C, which is X. So the first question require us to do this, right? So the first question require us to calculate what is going to be your B, C, right? So base, basically, B, C, it's going to be the X, right? Now, how can you calculate your B, C? Now, we are going to look at both of these two triangles, right? And see in terms of which one of this triangle I have more information, right? So already I can see that my triangle A, B, C have the maximum information. Now, I need to decide in terms of for me to calculate X, which rule must I use, right? So now I am looking at this, right? So I am given this angle here, and I also have the corresponding opposite side, right? Right? And now I also have this angle here and I am looking for what I am looking for X, right? So which means then now from here, the condition, this particular condition, they meet the conditions of the sign rule, right? Because your sign rule, you need to have at least a complete pair and a complete pair is basically when you're having the angle and the opposite side. Uh, and then now you must have at least an angle or the side to calculate any of the two, right? So which means now from here, I can literally say now my BC, right? Remember, I want to calculate my BC, right? So I can say, look, my uh, BC. So I can say BC, uh, right? BC over sine of what is the angle that I'm having there? It's angle A is going to be equals to uh, what is it that I'm having there? It's going to be AC over sine of angle A, B, C, right? A, B, C, which is that, that angle. Then my B, C here. Now I'm going to say B, C over sine of A. What is angle A here? This angle A is given by sine of 106 degrees. Is equals, what is my A, C here? This is 4.6 divide by sine of what this is sine of 31 degrees now what is that i'm going to do now here i'm going to say bc i'm going to cross multiply it same as 4,6 sine of 106 degrees divide this by what divide this by sine of 31 degrees and what is it that i'm going to have here so let's see if i plug this in my calculator i have 4.6 uh this is sine of uh, 106 degrees, right? Then this is divided by a uh, sine of 31 degrees, right? If I'm not mistaken. And then this is going to be, I think if I'm not mistaken, this is given by 8, comma, uh, 5, uh, right? 5, 9, if I'm not mistaken. This is 8, comma, 5, 9 centimeters, right? So this is going to be 8, comma, 5, 9 centimeter which is going to be my BC. Are we all fine, right? So basically now that's what we are going to have as our BC, right? So now we found that. Now let's look at what is the next question requiring us to do, right? Let me just remove here so that all of us, we can, uh, we can see, right? Now the next question, remember now I wrote in terms of what is it that we found here. So the next question require us to calculate what is going to be the area, right? The area of the quadrilateral A, C, uh, B. This is A, this is C, this is uh, uh, E, this is also your B. Now, how can you calculate the area of this particular shape, right? In order for us to calculate the area, we are going to look 
we are going to say, look, we don't know basically what type of a, a, a shape is this. We know that this is just a quadrilateral, right? But we know that this particular quadrilateral, it's made up of two. It's made up of what? It's made up of two uh, triangle, right? So which means now from here in this particular case, I can now apply my area rule, right? And what does the area rule mean, right? So according to the area rule, I must have at least, right, I must have this. Uh, I call it your SAS, right? So I call it my SAS because this is side. I must have my angle and also I must have my what? My side. Oh, it's good, right? So which means the angle that I have, this my, my, must be my SAS, right? So which means now from here, if you can look at this, here I have this side here. I have this side here. Uh, what is it that I don't have here? I don't have this angle here because according to this, I must have at least side, side, and an angle in between. Firstly, to calculate the area of triangle A, uh, what uh, of triangle ABC. So I'm going to start and say, look, in triangle ABC, I am going to calculate for my angle ACB, right? So I'm going to say ACB is going to be same as 180 degrees subtract. Uh, this is going to be uh, 106 degrees plus 31 degrees, right? And then now, because what is the reason here? This is because of sum of angles in a triangle, right? So which means my ACB then therefore will be given by what? So this is going to be same as 180 degrees. Uh, this is subtract. Uh, 106 and also subtracting 31 degrees, right? So this is going to be 43 degrees, right? Here I'm going to have my 43 degrees here. This angle is going to be 43 degrees. Now that I have this, now I have side, side, and the angle in between. Now I can apply the area and say area. Uh, let's say this is area of triangle, right? This is triangle ABC, right? Triangle ABC is going to be, remember the formula now is going to be half multiplied by the two sides. Look, the two sides that I'm having here, it's AC multiplied by the BC, right? And this is going to be sine of angle, what? Sine of angle ACB, right? ACB. Uh, oh, okay. Now, which means this is going to 1 over 2 multiplied by, what is my AC that I have? This is 4,6. And multiply by what is this one? This is eight comma five nine. Uh, this is going to be sine of what? Sine of forty three degrees, right? What is that I'm going to have here? So I am saying this is uh one over two. This is one over two. Uh, then this is multiplied by one over two multiplied by four comma six four comma six. Right. This is four comma six. Uh, multiply this by what by eight comma uh, five nine and then this is going to be your sign and this is going to be sign of 43 degrees right sign of 43 degrees then this here i am going to get this as 13 comma uh four seven uh centimeter squared right which is the area of the first triangle here then now I can also look at the area of triangle. What right? this is triangle B C E, right? B C E. Now this is still going to be given by what? This is going to be the area is given by one over two, which is half multiplied by B C. Multiplied by what? Multiplied by this is B C multiplied by C E sine of what? Sine of angle B C E B C E. Then this is going to be same as what? So this is 1 over 2 multiplied by what is my BC? My BC is 8,59. Multiply by CE and C is 10 sine of 46 degrees. And then what is it that I'm going to have here? Then now from here, if I plug this in my calculator, I am saying here I have 1 over 2 uh, multiplied by, this is multiplied by, uh, eight comma. This is eight comma five nine. Uh, multiply this by ten. Then this is going to be sine of angle 
46 degrees, right? And this is going to be 30. So this is going to be 30, comma, I, I think this is 30, comma, 90, if I'm not mistaken, right? Then centimeter squared. Now, because they said the area of the quadrilateral, now we want everything else, right? So which means we are going to add these two, right? We are going to add these two. Now, and when we are adding them, what is it that you are having? This is 30 plus uh, 13, comma, 13, comma, uh, 47, right? 47, and this is going to be 44. 44, comma, what? This is 44, comma, 37, right? So this is 44, comma, 37 centimeter squared, right? So this is basically going to be the area of this particular sheet, right? So I am hoping that this makes sense and we are in a position to answer this question, right? Thank you very much. Let's look at the next question.